Okay, so right now we're going to be going over the um, service hub, um, which is currently used for tracking open ticket items. Um, so it's right here under the tickets um, in the service tab here. So click on that. Uh, once you're inside, um, you should be assigned a profile under Op Adventures um, Master Profile. Uh, and you can see that we have different tabs here. There's new, waiting for customer, waiting on us, closed, and delivery in progress. So the way this works is as soon as um, we get new information about something needing to be ordered, a guest complaint that um, results in um, some sort of action for us, we create a new ticket for it. Um, as if we need more information, um, say from the guest, let's say an example, um, the guest says, hey, the door is not latching, um, and so we create a new ticket immediately because we know something's up, um, but we would message the guest um, and say, okay, so which door is not latching? Um, so let me just do this as an example. So ticket name. Uh, so the, our ticket methodology is um, we do a hyphen and then the the name of the um, of the unit. So Cortland two one Stan Stanford three two. Um, this one's accidentally misspelled. So there is always a naming procedure, um, and it's it's detailed out in the um, the user manual um, as to what the, the unit nomenclature is. Let's see. Um, where would it be in here? Door codes. Could be here. So here's the door codes. I don't see the unit nomenclature, but somewhere I believe we have the unit nomenclature defined in the manual. Um, so it basically goes like this: 300 Cortland 42. So that can be a separate video. Um, Shiv can go over the manual, but this is basically how you do it. You do create a ticket and so it'd be the door uh, so door won't match and then uh, 300 Cortland 42 um, so that would be the the 42 unit of 300 Cortland um, and so this would be a new ticket item ticket description if it needs to, if it needs any more description and then the ticket owner. So the ticket owner is going to be generally yourself if you add it there, um, unless you're passing it on onto someone. Um, oh, this is the unit nickname. Oh, so you can just like basically click this right here. So maybe Shiv can do a video later. Um, now, door won't latch. Um, 300 Cortland 42. Um, so now you're going to go message the guest about why the door won't latch um, and um, and this ticket will go into this so we'll be waiting on the guest to get back to us um, once the guest get back to us like let's say they're like oh it's the um, it's the you know the, the side side entrance door so it's the side entrance door on the east side so now I'm making a note east side so I save this note and I can create a follow-up task within three business days if I if I need to um, so I'm gonna save that note now the note is inside this file so we found out from the guest it's the side entrance door on the east side we found out we found out from messaging them on an Airbnb or calling them so now um, immediately I'm gonna go and place an order on Amazon 
or talk to someone about what I need to do. But in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it over here on waiting on us. So now 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 we're waiting on us. Now we internally have to figure out how we're gonna address the problem. Um, and this can be in a variety of ways from sending Daniel out there um, to figure out what the diagnostic needs to be or um, talking to Kendrick or Shiv. Um, but basically we just need to, we just need to get this done. And this is so these are the tickets that are all waiting on us. So these are the actions we need to take. Um, once we figured out that hey, you know it's we have a, a doorknob that was like faulty, so we need to schedule and order another doorknob. Then we order something off Amazon, and once we order it off Amazon, we can create this task for um, set up or uh, install new door knob. Okay, and then we can um, due date can be now we're going to know that once we've ordered off Amazon that um, th that it's going to be that it's going to get delivered at a certain day so what we're going to do is let's see let me see if I can figure this out it's for um, how do you change it so here it is so to do so the to do for let's say it's to Daniel Ramirez. So then you just say install new door knob after 11 a.m. once guest checks out. Okay. So now it's assigned to Daniel Ramirez on um, the day of. So due date is not tomorrow, but the, th the door knob, let's say, it gets delivered on Wednesday. So in three business days on Wednesday at 8 a.m., it's going to remind Daniel the day of at 8 a.m. Or maybe maybe we'll just do it at like 9.15, 9.15 a.m. that he needs to install the doorknob. And now it's assigned to Daniel Ramirez. We save that. There's a task assigned to Daniel. Um, you can pin it. Um, so now it's the owner of it is Kendrick. So I'm still the ticket owner, but I've, I've assigned a task to Daniel at 10 a.m. So come Wednesday, it's he's going to have to do something. But in the meantime, the door won't latch. This ticket is actually going to go over into the delivery in progress section. So door won't latch. Install new doorknob on whatever date we set. So now we um, get to wait for it to be delivered. And then now the onus is on both me and Daniel to complete this and me follow up with Daniel to make sure this gets closed out. And once it's closed out, um, Daniel will move it to the closed items. So once it's closed out, it'll be moved on and closed by someone on some certain day. And so we're always going to be watching to see how many how many items, how many open ticket items are there? How many are waiting on us? How many are the de delivery in progress? Because um, those are the things that we're going to need to be acting on every day and making sure we follow up with.